In this video, I'm gonna show you how to identify and to ultimately fix twisted recurve limbs. This video will be a little fun one uh, because this is stuff that I used to have to do with every single bow, even brand new out of the box, not that long ago. You know, with today's new technologies and materials and also just being aware of it, the limbs have gotten much better straight out of the factory. The vast majority of them are excellent, but there are still some times when you need to diagnose and fix a limb that is not as straight as it possibly could be. So I just got done reviewing this Sanlita Miracle and Myth X10 kit. I will have links in the description below and a card at the top up there for you to check out in case you're interested. But what I noticed while reviewing this system is that both of the limbs, top and bottom, are not straight, meaning they don't track perfectly straight back to you as you draw them back and then as you let go, it does not fall back straight. It is falling slightly off to one side. And that's because these limb tips are unevenly filed. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to diagnose how if your limbs are not quite straight out of the factory or you've had them for several years and they're starting to warp, that happens too. I'll show you how to find crooked limbs, how to make sure that it is actually crooked, and then also how to fix them if they are fixable. Uh, this is definitely something that it's going to be interesting how people respond to this video out there because uh, it's not exactly for the faint of heart and it is effective, but uh, you know, it's just a little scary to be taking a file to your set of limbs, you know, because it's, it's just a bit intimidating. So anyway, we'll get right into it. Let me know your thoughts, what you think about this. If you've done it or seen this in the past, seen it done, um, it used to be common prior to somewhere in the 20... 10 2009 2008 period prior to then lots and lots of limbs were being manufactured uneven and a little crooked out of the box and honestly once i learned how to fix them i did it to basically every set of limb i was shooting for several years even though they were brand new right out of the box that's just how it was uh, but like i said previous to this things have gotten much better and the vast majority of limbs are straight out of the factory but still sometimes mistakes happen and you can fix it at home and you don't have to go through the warranty program uh, to have it done you know sure if they're brand new and you spend all that hard-earned money it should be right out of the factory but uh, things happen first we're gonna diagnose how to find limbs that are not straight and we have to go through the right process first because you don't want to jump to conclusions when things aren't quite right and that is to make sure first that your limbs are aligned to begin with and something that I cannot recommend more is biter limb gauges. They clip right on the back side of the limb and give you a nice reference mark for the center of the limb itself. I have videos and a book, uh, Tuning for Performance, on how to align and set up your Olympic style recurve. That be for Olympic style recurve shooting or bare bow shooting with an ILF uh, type setup, setup like this. All of that information available and links in the description below as well as all the tools that I'm going to be using here today. I'll have links in the description below for those too. Now, the actual alignment. It must be done with the biter blocks down here at the base of the limb nearest the riser. So when you align your bow, putting your blocks right here near the riser will remove any sort of potential influence of the limb being twisted itself. Once you get the bow aligned this way properly, then you can start to look at your limb tips. Biter does sell limb tip alignment gauges that you can snap on up here to check your limb tip alignment. I find it to be unnecessary because it's quite obvious to see with your eye once you really start looking at it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I diagnose it in person. Now both of these limbs, as before we get too much further, both of these limbs are bending this direction to the right. So the top limb heads to the right and the bottom limb, when you look at it upside down, also heads to the right. So the top limb goes to the right and the bottom limb actually goes to the left, but they're both heading the same direction when you're looking at the limb in the same manner. So how do I find out 
if I have a crooked limb to begin with. Biter block, put it in place. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw the bow back. I'm gonna have my hand on the upper pocket like this, and I'm gonna draw back parallel up here where you would kind of measure tiller. And I'm gonna set the limb tip on my bottom toe, and I'm going to draw back like this, eyeball the string, put it in the center of the limb block. You don't have to do this. You could put it in the center of the riser or the center of the belly of the limb down in the bottom. And then you look at the limb tip and you'll see if it starts to head one direction or the other. And you can really actually quite easily tell as I do this, if I look at it, the limb wants to head that direction. And you can actually pull back and slowly let down and watch the string touch the groove and you'll see that it wants to sit a little bit on the right side of the groove on that top limb and on the bottom limb it's it's a lot worse but it's not it's not terrible by any means the bottom limb is definitely worse than the top and that's just because of an uneven limb tip so i'll show you from your point of view i'll take the limb block and put it here seeing how the bottom one's worse you'll be able to see it hopefully a little bit easier this is going to be tricky so if I line the string in the center of the block, you can see how the limb itself is heading this direction. And if I slowly let it down, trying to keep the string in the center, it wants to hit on this side and then it flips into the groove. Another way is to take a couple of arrows. This is a, an older method, but it works excellent and you kind of push it up underneath the serving so it sits like this freely. Do it with both sides. And now what you can do is you eyeball from one end of the bow to the other and see if the arrows are parallel to each other. If you look at the two arrows, see how they are not level or square to each other. If I bring them to each other, you can see how one is off. The two of them are misaligned. That's another way to check and see if your limbs are aligned. And the last way I'll have to show you with a unique camera angle, you essentially hold the bow like this. I have the limb tip resting on the ground. You can have it resting on a table or something. And you wanna hold your thumbs like this on either side of the limb just supporting the limb, letting the bow free float in air and kind of just find its own natural center. And I'm looking down the center of the string. I'm lining up this serving and that serving down there on the other limb. And then I look at the limb tip and I look to see where the limb tip falls on the belly of the limb on this side that I can see. And I can see this top one tends to head to the right towards this side that the limb wants to track to. And the bottom limb, I can see it does it a whole lot more. So what I am seeing first and foremost when I do the drawback is the, the limb wants to hit, or the string wants to hit on the right side of the limb. But then when I verify looking at it this way, I can see yes, indeed the tip is pulling to that side. And if it's doing at least two of those things, the two arrows are really cool, but it's hard to have a center reference because you know, you're checking the two limbs against each other, which is excellent, but if there's no center flat reference to use, I suppose you could put an arrow on the back surface of the riser or something somehow, but that's a little tricky. You don't know which direction which one's going. So doing the drawback and then doing this mo motion shows you that the limb is heading one direction or the other and if they're all showing one direction then you can definitely look next at the limb tip and see what maybe the issue is and if i look here on the uh, sanlita x10 limb tips you'll see that it is uneven i showed you in the review video but for your sake if you look there is way more material here from this edge of the grip or the this edge of the limb to the center or to the end serving versus this side to the end serving. You can see how this leg is longer than this leg is. And if you look really close, you'll see that extra bump right in there that's underneath the serving between the serving and the groove of the limb. There's an extra bump down in there. And I can actually unstring the bow 
and show you what I showed you in the review video. But you'll see there's an extra bump down in there in the groove compared to the other side. You'll see how this side is chamfered super nice. It has a nice smooth transition and it looks like it's done on purpose. This side, you can see there's that bump that's in there. So your limbs can be crooked or bent or not straight out of the factory because of a mistake, not being cut evenly. And that's just, that can happen in many different ways. This is hand done with a jig and the jig could have moved and it could have been bumped or the, the jig itself might be worn out or who knows, it's just not quite getting filed right. So that can be a problem. It can also be a problem if the limb is literally warped and twisted with age. Uh, wood limbs will warp and twist like that more than foam wood uh, limbs will. Older limbs will twist more than newer limbs will. Uh, you know, technologies and materials have gotten much better over time. So you see less and less degradation over that time period. But this is a dead giveaway that shows me that the limb tip itself is not even. So how do I fix that? This right here. This is basically a hobby file out of a hobby file set. It's a very small round file with very fine teeth on it. So it won't remove a whole lot of material at once. And what this will allow you to do is get in there into the limb groove and the limb tip and make things even left to right. And what's gonna happen is your limbs will now be perfectly straight. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you how to file this. Then I'm gonna take you back and go through all the straightness checks that I did in the past, just two seconds ago. And you'll see how just a tiny little bit with this round file will make enough of a difference to make the limbs be dead straight for you. All right, so now what I'm gonna show you is how to use this file on the limb. I'm gonna do my best to show you. I'm gonna do it first in, you know, so you can see me like this, and uh, then I'll do the bottom limb as I'm reaching around the camera to see what I'm doing. So first of all, the way that files work, it's important to know. This is the, the pointy end of the file, the, the part that is actually filing. This has a little bit of a grip area. A file cuts one direction. It only cuts on the push forward. It does not cut when you remove move backwards. All that you will do if you're sawing back and forth is dulling your file. You will ruin it because as you go back this way, it, it pushes the teeth, I don't know what they're actually called, flat when you drag it back. So you gotta always only cut into it. So first of all, that's the only way you use a file. Don't do it any other way. Now, <clears throat> It's obvious in this limb tip, this is the top one, you can see it being uneven. A lot extra material is over there compared to on this side. So what I'll do is I'll kind of take it from this angle, from the side and kind of cut that direction. I may be able to cut this direction too. It really depends what you're comfortable with and how you do it. Now, all I'm gonna do to start is to even up the limb tips. So if I look the left side, obviously that's the side that's cut really deep and the right side's not cut enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the right side to match the left side. So all I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go from this direction. And this is a very, very fine file. It's not terribly aggressive. And so all I'm gonna do knock down that one high spot and as I'm knocking down the high spot you'll see it starting to even up now it might be smart for me to and for anybody who hasn't done this before to basically take a little bit off put it on check and see if it's straight and so on and keep doing that until you're confident that everything is uh, lined up good now I've done this countless times. I can't tell you how many sets of limbs I've done this to, both mine and, uh, and other people's. And if it's not visually even, it's never straight on the bow. So I'm just going to go by visual and get it good first. And then after you've done this face a little bit, you got to make sure the side, the transition is nice and smooth. Left to right is equal. Now this is the top limb, so it's gonna, there's gonna be less of it that's off and wrong compared to the other one. And all I'm doing is just looking at 
the evenness of it. And you can see it's getting much better. It's way, way, way more even. I uh, touched a little bit on the left here. You can see in the front, there was like a little bump there on the front. When I looked at it from this angle, I could clearly see a little bump on that one side as well. And so all I'm doing is just kind of knocking down the high spots, just trying to make it even. And I think that's good enough for me to put back on the bow to see how that goes. But there was one more thing that I didn't like in this limb, and that was that transition of the limb tip. It was too steep and it's gonna cut the serving eventually. So I'm just gonna kind of drag on this surface like that, where the limb groove is like that, and just kind of make it a little less steep just so it cuts the serving less overall. Now, do you wanna do this on a brand new set of limbs? I mean, I wouldn't want to if I spent my money this, this way, but sometimes you can't. You know, you got a tournament coming up and something happened, you ordered a set of limbs, you got them, they were not quite straight, and then that fact, the factory is saying, well, it's gonna be eight to to 12 weeks because uh, we got to make the limbs we're out of stock well i think you got to make them work then now normally at this point i'd say okay take the limb snap it back in the bow and uh test it make sure it's good to go but because the bottom limb is definitely way worse than this top limb i'm going to do the bottom limb and i'm going to show you first person kind of how i'm looking at it and what i'm doing so that way it gives you a better idea and then we'll put them back on the bow and see if it's straight now now you might be asking yourself and me well, what do I do if the limb tips are, they look even and there's a twist in the limb itself. You can do this to kind of fix the twist that's in the belly of the limb that's older. But in my experience, once they start going, they just continue to get worse um, and it just ends up not working out. So hard to say, you know, hard to say what I would recommend. Uh, but when it's clearly dead, give a dead giveaway like this is where the limb tips are clearly unevenly filed. This is easy to make the decision to just get the file out and make it work. But okay, so if you look here, you can see that unevenness. See how that bumps there. And I'm just taking little bits at a time. Just attacking the highest spot first and then chasing the different spots that are there So you'll see it's starting to take shape and even up already. And then you look from the side, from the front. I can see a little bit of an excess buildup over here compared to the other side. So you see how I'm kind of like rounding as well. That looks better. Maybe needs to go down a little too. Yep, so that looks pretty good to me. So now what I'm gonna do again is just kind of take these high spots off. Just kind of make the transition a little better. Yes. No. All right, so that's it, done. So it's pretty even. Maybe a tiny little bit more needs to come out of right there. hard to do this on the camera because I'm having to look at the screen and then look at the tip and then it's just tough but that's that's pretty good much better than what it was nice and smooth nice and even looks pretty good so and the transitions knocked down it's not super pretty but it's gonna be super effective all right so now I'll put the bow back together and see how we did now you just go through that same procedure again to check your limb tip alignment. Now it shouldn't have changed the left to right alignment if you align your bow with the blocks down here. If you were part way up the limb, like up here with the blocks, then as this pulls one direction, 
it's of course shifting this one direction compared to this. It may not be moving down here. In my experience, fixing the limb tips doesn't change the alignment down here. So if you do your job right and you check your alignment with the base up near the base of the limb, uh, the limb tip won't affect it. At least not in my experience. There might be extreme cases where that is true. Nice and good now. The top is dead center and the bottom. The bottom might need a smidge more. And it is through that middle section like I was thinking. So if you look at this, this is the bottom, you can still see through the middle section. It's tough to get in close enough for you. The middle section, like not where it just rolls off down here and not where it wraps around, but in that middle section, you'll see it's a little thicker still on this side than that side. It is, the, the bottom limb now is as good, if not slightly better than the top limb was. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just touch that bottom up really fast. So it's always better to take off less because you can never add it back on. Good. I think there's an optical illusion with the lighting. Yep, we're good now. So that's always something important too to change your positions to make sure the lighting doesn't make it look like it's falling on one side than the other two. Um, because on this way where the sun is it highlights one side of the groove versus the other so it makes it look you know a little off but it isn't actually. So you go through the tracking you check out the limb tip like this when you lay it straight down and it looks like it's in the center now. Okay, so let me see if I can show you. So you see it looks much straighter. And it goes down in the center of the limb. Really hard to show you. I had the microphone turned around backwards, so apologies if that last bit of the audio was weird. Um, I forgot to turn it back around after I was working from behind the camera, so my bad. But anyway, um, the bo that was the top limb. This is now the bottom limb, which was really bad to begin with. Put the limb in the groove or in the biter block. It's so hard to show you from my perspective, your perspective. But you'll see, it is so, so much better. So much better. And from the other view, when you're looking at the ground doing it this way the top and then the bottom and you'll see clearly it is much better than where we first started so as you can see something as tiny and mighty as this is it really can do a number to your limbs if you know what you're doing correctly i wouldn't necessarily say this will fix everything and it won't make you shoot 300s but at least you can know that the limbs are straighter. And to me, I feel better about that. I know that the thing is gonna deliver the arrows consistently time after time. You know, you can argue that, well, the limbs are always gonna do the same thing every single time you let go of the bowie, even if they're slightly twisted or bent. And that is true, and I argue that it's probably not gonna affect a whole lot. But what happens if it's always pulling one direction, if I make a mistake that enhances that and goes towards that direction i argue that you might hit further that way than if you made the same amplitude of mistake the other direction the limbs wanting to go this way so it may not throw it as far that way i can't prove that i'll just be honest and tell you that i can't but i think that is probably the case so i could be wrong but that's my thoughts about it anyway like i said all the equipment and tools will be in links in the description below for you to check out all the videos i've talked about and referenced and tuning for performance available on web, my website jkaminski.com so if you're interested in learning how to tune and set up your bows like i do check out tuning for performance or my tuning series which is also available on this channel